radio stimulation of brave bulls. Produced by Dr. Jose M. R. Delgado, Yale University School of Medicine. With the collaboration of Dr. Francisco Castejón, Francisco Santiesteban, professors of the School of Veterinary Medicine in Córdoba, Spain. This is a pilot study to demonstrate the implantation of electrodes into the brain of brave bulls and to show some modifications of behavior induced by telecommand. This movie has been made on a farm named La Lamerilla, close to Córdoba in the south of Spain. About eight centuries ago, it was the summer residence of a Moorish prince. Today, it is the center of a bull ranch. The Bray Bull is a proud and beautiful beast, known for his aggressive behavior toward other creatures, including humans, who he may attack with destructive fury. The purpose of our investigation was to see whether the genetically determined aggressive instinct could be modified by electrical stimulation of the brain. The first problem was to catch the bull in order to place electrodes in the brain. With a special rifle, a flying syringe is shot into the animal's right flank. A paralyzing dose of Cernilan is automatically injected and after several minutes the bull slows down and stumbles when he tries to attack. The drug is taking effect and uh, finally the animal falls down. Surgery is then begun in rather idyllic surroundings under the Spanish sun. The head of the bull is draped and the skull trefined for the introduction of assemblies of electrodes into the depth of the brain. A stereotactic instrument, provisionally attached to the horns, permits the use of micromanipulators which increase the accuracy of electrode implantation. The intracerebral leads are anchored to the skull and then threaded underneath the skin base of the horn. The operating wound is closed with stitches. The three terminal sockets are attached to the horns. The operation is finished and now 21 points in the depth of the brain may be reached from the outside of the body. Today, investigators and some visitors are ready for the beginning of the experiments. The operated bull had a restful night and looks completely normal, running around and charging the cape with customary ferocity. Now, the bull is being radio-stimulated in the caudal nucleus, forcing him to turn to the right. The animal faces the investigator and uh, stimulations turn him away.
aggressive behavior against the Cape is evident. The bull charges and uh, now radio stimulation is applied. Without radio control, the animal is rather unfriendly and chases the bullfighter around the ring. A different point of the brain in the rostral thalamus is stimulated now, inducing calling moves, raising of muscle and slight twisting of the head. Stimulation of this point does not modify the animal's aggressiveness. A different point located in the caudal nucleus is radio stimulated now, forcing the animal to turn to his right and blocking his attempts to attack the investigator. The bull charges when not stimulated. Now it is not too dangerous to approach the animal because by radio stimulation he may be stopped and induced to turn away. Stimulated while charging the cape, the bull is easily diverted to the right. Spontaneous aggressiveness is tested once more. This is a different bull, also under radio control, to demonstrate that excitation of the right internal capsule produces continuous circling to the left. Circling persists as long as stimulation is applied. Short periods of stimulation make the bull run in a circle instead of straight ahead. 